Hey everyone, Jason from Grip Tape. In the last video, I showed you how to create an agent and how to connect agents to each other to have a continuity of thought. In this video, we're gonna talk about agent configurations, which allow you to control which model the agent is using when it's running. By default, it uses OpenAI's GPT-40, but you can also use Amazon Bedrock, Google, or Anthropic as your configuration. Let's jump in. First, let's get an understanding of what we mean by a configuration. If you click with the right mouse button inside Comfy UI and you go to the Grip Tape menu down at the very bottom, there are links here for going to the Grip Tape Home, to the Cloud, to Docs, Trade School, and to Discord. If you click on the Grip Tape Docs menu here, this will take you to the Grip Tape documentation. As you can see, we have information about the Grip Tape framework, about Cloud, various tools that are available, and more. If you click on the Framework link and then you scroll down to Config, the configuration is how we define which model is being used for various tasks and workflows. As you can see here, the default is the OpenAI structure config, which will use OpenAI's GPT-4 as the default. If you click on the OpenAI structure config, this will give you information specifically about different types of drivers that are being used when you're working with the OpenAI driver. There's an audio transcription driver, an embedding driver, image generation driver, image query driver, prompt driver, etc. In the framework, you have control over all of these things. And in fact, you can actually create a custom config that mixes all of these together if you need. We haven't exposed that yet in the Grip Tape Comfy UI nodes, but this is possible if you're using the framework. The nodes that we do have available are the OpenAI Structure Config, Amazon Bedrock, Google, and Anthropic. To take a look at each of these, just go ahead and click on the Amazon Bedrock structure config, for example, and you can see that the embedding driver uses Titan Embed, the image generation driver uses Titan Image Generator, image query driver uses Anthropic Claude, the prompt driver also uses Anthropic Claude, and the vector store driver uses uh, Titan Embed. Feel free to click on any of these drivers if you want to learn more about them. In order to use them within Grip Tape, what you need to do, let's go ahead and clear our screen. And the first thing we need to do is create an agent. So we go to Add Node, Grip Tape, Agent, and then instead of choosing Grip Tape Run Agent, choose Grip Tape Create Agent. This will give you an agent with a configuration input that allows you to define which configuration you'd like to use. To add that configuration, you just do right mouse button, Add Node, Grip Tape, and then go to Agent Helpers, and that's where the different configurations are. So we can see by default, we're using OpenAI. We could just take this, drag it right in there, and then let's go ahead and see what happens if we start using it. I want to create a output node so I can see the results. So I could go uh, right mouse button, add node, grip tape, text, display text, or I could use a shortcut where I just double click and then type display and you'll see that I get grip tape display text and grip tape display image. I'll choose the display text, plug the output into the input, and then just say, hi, what model are you using? And I can cue the prompt. It says, here you go, I'm based on OpenAI's GPT-4 model. How can I assist you today? With the configuration here for OpenAI, you can also choose GPT-4, or GPT-3.5 Turbo. Let's go ahead and try that and run the same thing and see what happens. And you'll see now that the result is I'm based on the OpenAI GPT-3 model. So just choosing which one you wanna use here gives you quite a bit of control. But let's say you don't wanna use the OpenAI one. Let's say you'd like to use one of the others. If I double click and type config, you can see I get this list of different ones here. Let's go ahead and jump over to Google, for example and I can grab that configuration and throw that in here. Now, before we actually hit run, let's go ahead and take a look back at our docs and see what that model is using. So I go to the framework, I go over to config, and then I'll scroll down until I find the Google structure config. I'll click on that, and you can see that it is using Gemini Pro as the prompt driver. So the prompt driver is the one that's basically doing a run on the prompt. So Google uses the Gemini Pro driver. Now in order for this to actually work correctly, I do need an API key. So if we go over here and you get a, go to Grip Tape and choose star on GitHub, this will take you to the Comfy UI Grip Tape nodes. If we scroll down, you'll see that there is a environment variable that we need, which is the Google API key in order to be able to use this. So 
what we can do is go over to this link here. So makersuitegoogle.com app API key, and that's where you can get your API key for Google. Once you have your API key, you'll do the same thing that we did for our OpenAI API key, which is we place it in the .env file. So here I've opened up the Comfy UI folder inside Visual Studio Code. And if I click on .env, you can see I've got my open API key here. And what I want to do is grab the Google API key and paste that in. Then I'll save my file. I'll jump back over to Comfy UI. And then I just want to restart Comfy UI to make sure that it grabs the key properly. So I'll go to my manager. I'm just going to choose restart. This will make sure that the .env file is loaded as, as expected. Once I've done that, I'm going to just refresh my view here. And now with the Google config connected, I'll click Q prompt and I get a response that says, I'm a large language model trained by Google. Let's take a look at the other configurations and make sure that we've got those all working. So I'll double click again and I'll type config. We'll grab Amazon Bedrock and Anthropic. Let's see what environment variables we'll need for those to work correctly. I'll go to grip tape, star on GitHub, scroll down over here. And then for Amazon, for example, we need the AWS access key ID, our secret access key, and our default region. You can get this if you have an AWS account. Those are available in the AWS console. If you click on your username near the top right, click on users in your sidebar, you can get your username, your security credentials, and all that kind of stuff right there. If you don't have access to this, talk to your administrator. They should be able to get you access to it. So let's go ahead and focus on that one first. Remember, the default region is a very important one to have. Quite often people have missed this one and then it doesn't work correctly. So we want the default region. All right, so we'll jump back over to our .env file and then paste in those values. I'll connect that one instead. So now we're looking at Amazon Bedrock and you can see that it's an AI assistant created by Anthropic. So what's interesting is here we've got our agent configuration, which is Anthropic, and this is our Amazon Bedrock. So why is this saying it's created by Anthropic? Let's go ahead and take a look at the documentation to find out. So if I go to the grip tape docs, and again, I click on the framework, go down to config. Let's look at Amazon Bedrock and click on the Amazon Bedrock structure config right there. You can see that the prompt driver right here actually uses Anthropic Claude Sonnet. And that's the default for the Amazon Bedrock structure, which is why it's using that one. So if you have AWS credentials and you want to use Claude, then that will work perfectly for you. Let's go ahead and add our API key for Anthropic. So again, we'll go to grip tape, star on GitHub, scroll down, and we'll see what we need is the Anthropic API key. And we also actually need the Voyage API key. And the reason for that is if we look at the documentation, so let's go back to our docs, go back to the framework, go to config and look at Anthropic. What you'll see here is that Anthropic does not provide an embeddings API, which means we need to use another service for embeddings. And they recommend to use the Voyage AI embedding driver, which integrates with Voyage AI. So if we look at our documentation in here, you can see there's a link to grab your Voyage API key right here. So go ahead and grab an API key for Anthropic and for Voyage and add those to your .env file. And then you should be able to connect the configuration to that and queue the prompt. And you'll see that it says, I don't have any information about my underlying architecture training, but I am Claude, an AI assistant created by Anthropic to be helpful, harmless, and honest. So there we've got those four different configurations available. So one of the cool things about having all these configurations available is you can actually use them to compare the output based off of the model. So what we'll do is we're going to create some text. So I'm going to say grip tape text, create text. And I'll say, uh, what model are you using and what is the benefit? So this text I want to now pass to every single one of my models and agents, right? So I'm going to go ahead and let's have an agent here. And I'm going to say that's going to be the input string. So this one is now going to use OpenAI, and this is going to be the display of the text. I'm going to copy this and paste this down below. And this one is going to use this configuration. It's also going to use that input string and have an output. We'll do the same thing here. Paste. We'll use Bedrock and make sure we have that input string. And we'll do the same thing down below here. 
where we're going to use Anthropic, and we'll have this input string as well. So now we've got four different agents, each having four different configurations, all running with the exact same text. Let's go ahead and queue that prompt and see what we get. All right, and when it's done, you can see the results here. So I'm based on OpenAI's GPT-4 architecture. Benefits of using this model include advanced language understanding and a bunch of information here about why this model is really good. This one here says, I'm a large language model trained by Google. My name is Gemini. Talks about what it's good at. This one here says, I'm an AI assistant created by Anthropic to be helpful, harmless, and honest. And talks about some of its benefits. And then this one says, I don't have information about my architecture or training. I'm an AI assistant created by Anthropic to be helpful, harmless, and honest. So as you can see, the results of each of these are quite unique. It's quite cool to be able to try different models based off of the network that you're building and see what's gonna give you the best result. Thanks very much for joining. In the next lesson, what we're going to do is talk about tools and how we could take advantage of them. Have a great day.